Hey everyone, welcome. I'm going to give everyone a few minutes to join. And once I see you guys pop in, we'll kind of talk. But today is part two of our movie quote. Sean had to get his, he's not on camera, so he had to get his something in there. <laughs> he feels like, Sean, poor Sean feels like he is not the center of attention and he doesn't like it. It's fine. I don't need to be that. Feels like he's not the center of attention. He doesn't like it. Um. So. I got it. I could have done that. Well, I know that you won't be on camera and that might affect you. No, it's fine. Um. All right. So everyone's popping in. Um. Just wanted to quickly before we get going on part two of our t-shirt series, we'll show you our uh, series one t-shirts, which are right. Sean will grab them. Um. But uh. So just give you guys a reminder, today is the last day to use the free or December ship to get free priority shipping from Cricut. Um, a lot of the material or all the materials we're using today is from Cricut. So we are going to be using holographic vinyl. We're going to be using um, foil and we're going to be using glitter, all heat transfer vinyl. And that's 50 percent off. Um, keep in mind, once again, just like yesterday, if you use my code KK15, it'll get you 15% off, which is awesome, but it will not, you may or may not get your product in time for Christmas. If you want your product in time for Christmas, you want to use um, December Ship. I think it's December Ship. Thank you, Sean. And uh, December Ship uh, will get it to you priority shipping, which is awesome. So, uh, very good. Um, thank you. So Sean, yesterday I did shirts, um, mm -hmm. and today we're going to show you just how easy the easy press is to use, um, for someone, uh, that doesn't use it often, which is Mr. Sean here. So first let's recap all of everything we're using today is down below in the description. If you use those links down below, it does, uh, uh help out consecration. So thank you very much. I appreciate that from you guys. Um, and I'm going to be walking you still through a lot of the process, but let's show you our okay, shirt. First one is the, uh foil so this was the foil um and i someone reached out to me after the video and i told you the foil could be heat pro, uh, uh cool peel or warm peel and according to cricket's instructions it should be a cold peel so i just wanted to let everyone know that i learned my lesson yesterday it came off fine we don't have any scorching or anything but it is a cold peel so keep that in mind um cold peel so that is the one. Now, all of these are inspired by my favorite uh, uh, Christmas movie. So that first one is from Elf, which Sean's already covered up. That's from Elf, Cotton-Headed Ninning Muggins. So cute. This one is from Grinch, of course. This one is the black uh, glitter iron-on from Cricut. And it's on a green shirt there. And look at that. It's, so it is black glitter. A lot of people ask, is it black or was it, um, was it something else? But it is definitely a black glitter. Um, I love the green shirt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I like the lime green for Grinch because in the movie, he's more of a lime green, not a, like a foresty green. The last one is from Christmas Vacation. And this one's just you, Sirius Clark. Now, Christmas Vacation is my favorite Christmas movie. So we will be doing another um, quote from that movie tonight because it is my favorite Christmas movie. But this one we used uh, the white glitter, which no. I love the white glitter. It just uh, kind of looks like snow and stuff. So it's really, really great. And for and those who... We're here yesterday. We saw that shadowing effect. Oh, yes. Good job, Sean. And you'll see that it's not there anymore. It's so, all yeah. pulled off. So because I didn't pre-wash these shirts, um, a lot of people noticed that when I uh, used the Easy Press, that looked like it scorched, scorched the shirt. And I was telling everyone as soon as the moisture comes out of the shirt, that would go away. And it did go away. So mm -hmm. um, we didn't even have to wash it. It's all gone. It's not there. So that will sometimes happen. Uh, but it's still... it's recommended to pre-wash your shirts before doing this process uh, just because you're going to get a better result from it. Um, all of these files are going to be part of my Patreon group. So the files that you just saw are already uploaded to my Patreon group. Uh, down below it says Christmas files. If you click that, you donate to Patreon, it'll get you the files. All the files tonight that you will see will be uploaded to my Patreon a little bit uh, right after the show. 
I do want to have a little bit of a uh, advisory content. Um, viewer discretion is advised. And we have two shirts. One has adult humor. The other has a bad word on it. So if that offends you, I apologize. Um, sometimes Christmas has bad words in it, I guess. So uh, they're not very offensive, but I still want to fair warn everyone. Um, so to answer your question, I see a lot of people asking, where did I get the files? Where did I get the files? Um, I got the, I, uh, the files are all uploaded to my, um, Patreon. So we are going to start with the first shirt, which is going to be using green, cricket green foil. Um, and there you go. You can see it. We will be using our bright pad to weed, um, just because I firmly believe this is, and Sean can show you when we do it, just how much easier it makes your job. Right now, Sean is preheating. Now this here, we got, um, from our original heat press that we don't use and this I still think it's money well spent for this thing. You can get these on Amazon. I did give you a link, I believe, down below that shows you to get them. And what we're doing right now on the silicone pad is we are um, preheating this uh, probably for about 5 to 10 seconds until it gets warm. And then Sean will put the foil down and literally run his hands over it. You will feel the heat in the foil. So it will come up into the foil. And what this will do for you is it is basically warming the adhesive to where it should now easy peel really quick. So he's going to bring that over. Sean, bring that over so people can see what you're doing. There you go. Wow. And now he's going to go ahead and start weeding. He might need his glasses. Maybe. <laughs> Uh, so these, I don't know. Julie wants to know, um, what weight is it? It's whatever ones are offered at Joann's. When I get a shirt, I can look at it again for you. Um, but it's whatever is offered at Joann's. I'm thinking you may not have heated up, done your pre-heat good enough. Look at that. We're just fine. I can actually go back and do it again if I have to. That is what's cool. It's easy to redo. Yeah, so I really firmly believe... And this is, a, this is not super hot, so it'll, I'll leave it on for just a couple more seconds. Yeah, uh, it will make your weeding so much easier, but you have to make sure you get it nice and warm because it's basically activating the glue, kind of. Yes, I am in love with the foil. So we will be doing a project today that we're going to use the holographic vinyl or heat transfer vinyl, which at first I wasn't a huge um, advocate of. Uh, here I just told everyone how amazing that bright pad is to I use. Will. It'll be great for the, the small stuff. Oh, okay. I'm just going to get the bulk part off. Using it. I might need a new banner. I'm just saying. But look at how easy it comes off. So anyways, uh, we will be doing a project using... Look at this stuff. Here, I have it right here while he's reading. Look at how pretty this stuff is. I'm going to cover up your camera. It's going to be prettier once the carrier sheet's not on there, the protective sheet. But we're going to be doing one that in person is just, you can't really see it, can you? Well, when we do the shirt, you'll see it. Uh, but all this stuff is half off. And then if you use my code, another 15% off, it's like a no brainer. Um, I did go to Joann's and they did have their Cricut accessories and materials half off, which is a good deal. But it's that off Cricut and you can use the 15% additional code. So Sean now has the, um, the bulky part off, the bulky part off. And now we can go in and do a, the weeding of all the other parts. Um, this one's a little bit of a busier file. It's got a lot of stuff on it. Might take him just a quick uh, note here. If you want to give me that, you can start pressing your shirt. I'm happy to do that for you. If you'd like, you want to do this? Yeah. So we don't just watch you weed. Here you go. And you can tell them what you're doing on preheating your shirt. Okay. Do you want to give me the bright pad yep. or turn it off? I don't need it right now. It will be too much of a hassle bringing it over here. All right, so we're going to do the black, and I apologize if you can't hear me. I'll try to speak as loud as I can. So anyway, we've got that the black weird. shirt. It's because it was up close to the microphone. Oh. And what I'm going to do is just basically put the, in the area where I'm going to press, bring the shirt out, try to get the wrinkles out here. I'm going to use my easy press to just basically get a preheat done. I want to get the moisture out, get the wrinkles out. That's all I'm doing. Now, like I said, it is recommended that if your shirt um, is not pre-washed, that you wash it. It's going to be a better uh, uh, application process. However, you don't... Um, it, it, I don't want to say it doesn't matter because it does, but I've never had a bad experience. Um, I've never scorched it. Sean's also going to get all the dog hair off of it because if you have Goldens... 
you get love in and every single project of Ken's. And since we work with Ken's. a lot of glitter, too. Like, I have no idea what he's talking about. Yeah. I don't work with a lot of glitter. Sean is not a glitter fan. I mean, it's pretty, but I don't like working with it. Sean is not a glitter fan. No. I think glitter adds. Don't you guys? <laughs> if you guys are asking questions, I will go back and review. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to save you from watching this weed. There we go. Can I continue on that while you answer questions? Or, um, or I can look and see what Yeah, there's a lot of little people. Not saying you can't do it, but if you miss one, I'd be. Julie definitely said thanks. You're welcome. Hello from India. Uh, yes, I love my golden. I think they have one. Yeah, I love the glitter. Everybody said it, so I didn't see it. The glitter so is beautimous. Yes, it is. I, I do have to admit, though, this foil is pretty amazing stuff. Um, I'm a fan, though, of the adhesive foil, too, so. so what we'll do is that I can take over if you want. What do you mean? I'll double check to see if there's any spots. I'm almost done. Okay. Uh-oh, uh did your thing just turn off? Yeah, I'm going to. Why did it turn off? Because it's been sitting for more. I think it's only five minutes, not ten. Oh, I thought it was 15 minutes. No, no, it's like five if, if it's not being done or being used, it'll give you a I warning. I feel thing. so used. <laughs> All right. I think there's a lot of little spots on this thing. Ken, can you post your there you Patreon, go. please? So my Patreon is down below. If it, you look for Christmas files, it'll say, I think, Christmas files. Click that link right there. I can't post files or things in the chat as a website because I don't think it will let me. Maybe it will. Let me try. I think you can. Patreon.com slash Ken Sorry for seeing my creation. Head. Creation. I thought I got them all. No, there's one. You see how he is? Oh, see, then it put me, I don't know. Tell me if that link works. Um. All right, so let me see. So how do you know when you to mirror your image? Julie, that's a good question. So if you're doing iron-on, when you do any images using um, heat transfer vinyl, you're gonna have to mirror your image. There's very rare circumstances that you're going to cut a, a vinyl with the, um, the stuff like uh, your uh, vinyl facing up because basically your carrier sheets on the bottom, when you look at iron-on, I'll explain this really quick, but when you look at this piece of iron-on, even though you look like the blue, like you would normally cut it face up, you have to cut it face down because when you're applying the heat, the glue is actually on the back, which means you have a carrier sheet on top of this stuff. And you don't want to cut this up. So you have to mirror it because when you cut it, you're putting it essentially upside down. So when we cut this, it was actually cut upside down from th what we did because we need the carrier sheet. This is the carrier sheet right here, this kind of shiny part. Um, basically, if we were to cut that with the green facing up, it would cut through the carrier sheet and then defeats the whole purpose. Um, so if you guys haven't figured out, this is from Christmas Vacation. Um, this is probably one of my favorite scenes in the movie when Clark finally has his breakdown and telling the cops that they're the jolliest bunch of people this side of the nut house. But it says that we're the jolliest bunch of, you know what, this side of the nut house. It's like my favorite quote. Because seriously, Christmas time is not a time for people to be calm. People usually hit their max and it's all over. All right. I think I've got it. So Sean has it. Uh, we're going to do the heat press. So we do have the um, silicone sheet right there. And um, Cricut yes, does step, have step a... On. Cricut does have... Okay, thanks. Cricut does have their own version. So they have a, um, a protective sheet. It's a little bit different than that. That's Teflon, the other one's silicone. Uh, but it's out of stock. I cannot get it. I've been wanting it since it's been released. But that stuff, as soon as it comes back in stock, oh my gosh, it's out of stock so quick. So what Sean's going to do is he's going to apply the easy press and he's going to start. There's a, we already have the settings. We do not have the settings. So can you lift that up real quick oh. or not? Okay, that's fine. So I he we said, that. see, I just wanted to let you guys know what I live with. Sean says, oh, I got the settings. Don't worry. Nope. <laughs> so let's show him okay. this. This is why usually I'm in the driver's seat and Sean just looks for questions. Just saying. I love them dearly, but so we're doing the foil foil with cotton is actually two ninety five, and we're on it for the, uh, 30, nope. Over cotton, cotton. Oh, nope. The other way, oh, this the other way there. Cotton. Oh, there you go. Good job, Sean. Go. Sorry. I don't have my glasses on. Getting old sucks. So we need five more seconds. 
So here's the one thing I will say that Sean um, will forget is he'll forget the cricket head. So if you guys see him do that anytime in the video, let me know and we'll get him caught. All right, here we go. So explain to us what you're doing now. I'm going to place this down, start my time, and just lean. Not a lot of pressure, nothing. I know it looks like I'm pressing because my white hands, but they're not. I'm just putting a typical weight of weaning. This is all you need to put any kind of pressure on it to make it work. That's it. Ooh, this wait. would be a good vinyl. Renee says she needs this on a cutting board. You could cut this out of vinyl and put it on a cutting board. It's my one uh, of my yes. favorite coats. It's a not well. It might be my favorite coat. I do say "Son of a Nutcracker" a lot, and that's from Elf, because um, obviously at a bank I'm not supposed to cuss, so I'll say "Son of a Nutcracker," um, even if it's not the holidays. Um, so the settings you can get. There's two places you can get the settings. Someone asked where you can get the settings. If you buy your Easy Press, which I'd recommend everyone do because it's an amazing tool um it comes in there there will be something that says a quick reference chart if you do not buy the easy press and you still want these settings um they're more for the easy press than anything else but you can download this if you go to cricut and then go to support and search um easy press quick reference chart you can get a digital format of this um so uh definitely oh old so Yes, getting old is not for the week. I, you know what? It, I, it was sad. We went to a restaurant, and it was pretty dark in the restaurant. I will admit. And Sean looked at me with horror in his eyes, like literally, like something horrible has gone happen. I'm like, what is wrong? He's like, I forgot my reading glasses. And I was like, okay. And he was like, no, I don't think you understand. I can't read the menu. And I was like, what? Nope. But I don't know if you guys know this. You're the new iPhone. I don't know if it's on all, all iPhones, but on our iPhone. Um, it has a magnifying glass option now. So he busted that out and read the menu that way. But it was so... It was kind of sad. Because he was like legi legitimately like scared. Like, I can't read. It's like, I can't read it. You're going to have to read this for me. I was going to have to read the whole menu, which was not going to probably happen. It was at a Hate when that noodle happens. house. We have a noodle uh. house here. It's called Nudo. N-U-D-O. It's one of the oh. best places. But not as good as the place over in Hawaii. Oh, oh, that was a good place too. Yeah, what was that? I always forget uh, was... that place. I don't know. I think it was called Noodle House. I thought no. maybe Ramen House. It was the three letters, almost like new. It had three I letters. I see. I already forgot. All right. And what I'm going to do is lift it up. So this is what I was talking. Cricut does have their own version of this. This is something else that came with my heat press, and then I uh, bought a new one. But basically, you can do it now. Foil hat is a cool peel. So what does that mean? So um, shirts can be, um, if you use certain product, it can be a, a cold peel or a heat peel. So for example, uh, Caesar, most everything there can be hot or cold. Um, I did a, the video yesterday on my foil shirt, on the elf shirt, and I just ripped it off and it turned out fine. But someone pointed out to me that Cricut does recommend letting your foil cool one to two minutes before peeling it. And... Uh, then we are good to go. So we are going to let that cool here just for a moment. And Sean's going to press the next shirt and then we'll peel it before we get going in the next one. Um, do you want to hand me the thing and I'll start weeding it? Sure. Uh, they did fix my phone. By fix, they just gave me a new one. Yep. So which is kind of interesting because it's um, an iPhone 10. So it shouldn't have Nothing already been broken because I've only had it a month. But it wouldn't charge past 3%. And even the guy there was like weird. And the weird thing was is it showed that I was getting a charge. It showed that it was linking up, but it did not go over 3%. So they couldn't fix it, so they just gave me a new phone. Which kind of sucks because you have to go back. Yeah, I had to set up the whole thing because I didn't back up my phone. Back up your phones, people. I don't know why I didn't back up my phone. Ready? I just didn't. Yeah. So I'm going to start um, weeding this next one. Uh, and Sean is going to press this shirt, and then he's going to peel the other shirt. Teamwork is awesome. Do you guys want to guess what my next quote is? If you want to. I don't know if you guys are going to know. It's from one of my favorite. I'll give you a hint. It's not my favorite Christmas movie. It used to be. Um, however, this Christmas movie gets played a lot. So it's kind of a little annoying because it's played so much. And I will say, oh, Sean's doing the peel. We'll, we'll wait and, and, and be quiet while Sean does the peel. 
You go slow. I'm a fast peeler. I just want to make sure it's all good. All good in the hood. While you do that, I'm just going to keep on weeding, Sean. Sorry for my head in the way. Your head is shiny. Yes, it is. It's not a bad thing. It's just shiny. There we go. Okay, show them up close how cool foil oh, looks. Foil looks cool. I love foil. It's my new favorite. I'm going to turn this light on just so I can uh, do it. So you can see how cool it is. It's my new favorite medium to use for... Not a lot of guys wear foil, so I mean, I don't know when we would use it. I guess we could be amazing and wear it all the time. But foil, I don't know. It's just so cool. It's not as... Wait till you guys see this stuff. Ready? That's everybody's saying. Love it. Looks easier peeling warm from last night. Yeah, when it's warm and really? peel, it is good. But um, so I will say that the cold kind of gave it a little, a little smoother. Yeah, I agree. This, and that's why it's a cool peel. So if you were to look at this, this has a little more of a wrinkle, just a little bit more. But this is a little more smoother. I can see why you would want to do it on the cold version of peel. And the really cool is it looks almost like you did something wrong, but these are the actual holes that should be in there. So, yeah. These yeah. are the holes that should be in there. It's a yeah. distressed look. Yes, it is. So there we go. That's so that it. is the first shirt we made. And so this one, do you guys guess? Did you guys guess what this one's going to be? Oh, <gasps> Catherine. She knew that probably from the thumbnail. Yeah. <laughs> you probably knew that from the thumbnail. I'm on to you. Yeah, try out. So this one is just like Sean said. It's the, you'll shoot your eye out from a Christmas story, and this one is a kind of a tea. It's not a tea. Well, it's kind of a tea. No, what color would you say this blue is? Um, not teal. I would say almost a, a, a aqua. An aqua. Do you press it again after removing the carry sheet? I do. I don't know why Sean didn't. I could. Um, but normally, yes, I do. So after it's done, I it's just called the We Better Be Safe Than Sorry press. Mm -hmm. um, and you don't need to, but for me, I just, in my mind, I think it's better. So I, if Sean and didn't I can do still it, go back and still he go could back go back and do it. So, like um, so before Sean gets going crazy, Sean, yes. what should have we done? With what? Probably set our temps and everything mm -hmm. and find out which one we're using. Why? Because it's higher temps, so it's going to take a while for it to heat up. No, this thing t heats up quick. All right, What's our so temp? your temp is 330 degrees, and it's 20 seconds. Ooh, excuse me. So, um, once again, that's this little cheat sheet here, and so he is going to change it. You can't see what he's doing. It's not on camera. That's I apologize. Hard. So, basically, to change a temp, you're going to hit the temp. You're going to increase it to whatever you need it to be, which is the 330. I can go up, I can go down. Yep. So we want it at 330. And then the time is going to be 20 seconds. So all he needs to do is press the timer button and 20 seconds. Oh my gosh. Kisha, if you have an easy press, you need to break it up. It So literally, it's called the easy press because it's so easy. Damn. Um, and it is you can't like you it won't burn you it's it's a it's amazing like so, this i've seen even so there's silhouette this users is hot, wanting this i can touch this that's how close i can touch it and I, it's warm but it's not burning me so these files will be uploaded to my patreon probably sometime right after this video um this one is using the holographic heat transfer vinyl so when you are either at joann's or on the website make sure you're looking in the set because there is foil vinyl there's foil heat transfer vinyl there's oh, I, iron on there's in store so they've done a good job of distinguishing the difference um on some of it so like you get like a little heat you know vinyl and stuff so so he is now going to go ahead and press this I love this one. So we'll see how shiny and fun this one is. This is the first time I've ever used this stuff. It's fairly or it's fairly or it's fairly it's new. Fairly, yeah. Um and I keep adding stuff to my cart. I have to check out tonight though. Um so I'm gonna be buying a lot of this stuff. But not saying that we can't wear this, but you don't see I guess a lot of kids or guys wearing I guess we can break the norm. Ooh, you're getting an easy press for Christmas. Who is? I love the easy press. So we've always had a heat press and I never used it. I had a friend that uses her heat press all the time. We never used ours regularly just because we would have to turn it on. It drew a lot of electricity Boy. and the whole lights would go woo woo woo. 
I'd burn myself constantly on it. I just wasn't a fan. Ever since I got the Easy Press, we make shirts all the time. It's super easy. Doesn't require a lot of pressure. Um, I'm just you're not on. burning. You don't burn yourself. No. Um, and you can make some pretty cool. Yeah, um, what looks almost royal. The shirt's not royal. I can tell you that. Royal the, is the, the the heat transfer, it does look royal, but it's not. Um, I will say, be very careful when you're doing something like what Sean's doing. He is pushing on the shirt outside of the carrier sheet you can burn certain materials so make sure you are checking your materials before you do it um because you can get imprints or burn your shirt you just want to be careful with that um but uh then we'll do a, an easy or a, a quick thing cold so, peel on this one as well cold right? peel so two minutes while sean's doing that he's gonna press the other shirt um with the nut house really oh, quick do that on this one. No, no 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 you're pressing it with the carrier sheet no 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 Sorry. I'm sorry. You're, remember I said the nut house? You're going right. to do a final press on it? Yep. There, it's coming back to him. That's what I was doing. But I thought, well, since this is still there, I could have done that one. That's not what he was yes, doing. It was. Now he's trying to cover his tracks. I'm just saying. No, no, no. Oh, my goodness. Am I not doing this correctly? No, if you'd listen. So you're going to do this with that to do a final press on it. Communication is key in all of our counseling sessions, just so you know. So what this does, you don't have to do this, but to me, it does a better option. Um, but you definitely want to use this here because you can, um, that's probably good. Um, you, you don't want to scorch it, first of all, but you want to do it just because it's going to give it a nice, um, make sure you get a, a good uh, on the shirt. Some people also will uh, flip over the shirt and do it on the back of the shirt. Other people will do it again on that. So, so the Cricut... Um, iron on protective sheet is just for that too. So it's basically a protective sheet that's putting it in between the the heat press or the easy press, excuse me, and the, the shirt itself. So uh, it's just a protective sheet. So if you wanted to do a final press and don't have the carrier sheet or even more, you don't want to like cinch your shirt or something, that's how you'd use it. Oh, look at that. Right now you only see Sean's head, but I promise you it's Hi. beautiful. No, it's okay. So he'll turn on the light so you can see how cool this looks, you guys. This is awesome stuff. Ooh, look at that. So we'll get up nice and close for you. And look at that. Oh, it looks like icicles. That's so cool. That was what I was totally going for, too, because, you know, it's the icicle that comes down and pokes him in the eye. That's where it, sh where it breaks his eye, his thing. So... Uh, that's so cool. That stuff is pretty cool. So this also is a trick a lot of people will do for uh, mimicking rhinestones. So they'll get the silver one and cut little tiny circles and patterns and stuff, and it mimics the rhinestones. Uh, Kisha, if you go down below, there should be, it says Christmas Files. It doesn't say Patreon. I know now I should have called it Patreon. Um, but uh, if you go down and, and look for Christmas Files, it will be there. Okay, I need to buy more of that stuff. Can I see that? Let me, while you're getting the next thing ready. I need to buy more of that because look at that. Look at how cool that is. That is so cool, you guys. That's I'll show you up close on the camera. It's like got kind of a, that's probably too close. I don't want to say it gives it a diamond look, but I guess it's holographic. It's so, in person, it's really like, it, you can pick out all like five or six different color blues in this. This one's kind of going to be hard to weed too. Mm -hmm. So if you want to give it to me, that's fine. When you design them, you know exactly where to weed them. That is a holographic iron on. Isn't that pretty? I think it's holographic. That's what they call it. Yeah, they call it holographic. I saw another vinyl that I thought said holographic, but I don't think maybe it was holographic. Yeah, holographic sparkle iron on. So this last one is from, um, it's a newer Christmas movie, uh, but it's quickly become my favorite one. Sean, do you know what this is from? Um, Bad Santa? Oh, it might be in Bad Santa, but I didn't get it from Bad Santa. Know, where'd you get this we from? saw this last year. Actually, we might have saw it. We didn't see it last year when it came out. We waited to get it rental, so it wasn't around Christmas time when we saw it. Hmm. But it's got Jennifer Aniston in it. What Christmas movie has Jennifer Aniston, Sean? I'm trying to remember. 
Do you guys know? I do not. Let's see. Okay, you're gonna have to watch comments while I do this then. Let's see. All right. I'll Sean, you don't remember what Christmas movie has Jennifer Let's Aniston? See. Oh my God. It's awesome so far. Nobody has said anything. It's got Jennifer Aniston and Jason Bateman. Wait, Jason Bateman's not in it. Maybe he's in it. Oh, that that one. That oh. one. Yeah, now it's coming to Office him. Office party. Yes. Hard to see Ken. Uh, no, Ken. Hard to see that holographic on Ken's. Yeah, the holographic didn't show up too well. All I'm doing right now is weeding this file because it's got some weird cut lines in it. They, they played... Well, the other kid was her brother, but she was the... But what's his name? I don't know his name, but yeah, he's like the... I thought Jason Bateman was in it, but maybe he's uh, not. He is in it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, but he's not the main guy. Her brother's the main guy. Yeah. It he's is a... The one, he's the one that did the voice to one of the Big Hero 6. Yeah, he... It is a funny movie. I mean, it's definitely adult humor and stuff, but it's funny. But this mm -hmm. comes in there. When he dresses up as Santa, he says this. I don't know if Sean's going to remember that. I do. I do, I do, I do. So if you guys are asking questions, I'm sorry. I'll be right back. I'll get, let's see if there's any. Let's see. Ken passed up my question. Can someone please advise me? Uh, Tana Carroll. Who's What's her question? I can't find it. Okay. I didn't see it. Was it all in caps? I don't know. If it's not in caps, I might not see it. Yeah, sorry. I'm going to see if I can find it real quick here. Uh, what sees her appearing last night? Yeah, Tana Carroll, can you read? Re uh, I was going to say, I, I thought I was grabbing all the questions. Up the thread. Yeah, just put, just retype it. It's so far away, I couldn't find it. Type it all in caps, too, if you can. Type in caps if you have a question. That makes it easier for everyone to see. When you're wearing the shirts, can you feel the vinyl? I dislike some purchased shirts as the decorative material irritates my skin. Well, why would you feel the material on well, the materials feel, on the outside? You'll just feel the firmness because it feels more firm than the. Plain oh plain. yeah, but it shouldn't irritate your skin though if it's well, not it touching you, it, right? But I mean, you can feel if it's a big file. Yeah, you can feel the bulkiness. Yeah. Like on Sean's Star Wars one, it's bulky. Yeah. My favorite Christmas movie is The Family Stone. Which one is that one, Kisha? All right, there you go. Oh, wait, no. Not at all? I thought I did, but I didn't. There you go. Okay. I'll double check. My pad, real quick. So this one says, where is my hose? Oh, your E's coming up, just to let you know. Uh-oh. There you go. Where are my hose at? Where are my hose at? <laughs> Where's my red shirt? I need that. Please? Oh. So this one is, is, is this the same, the what? same glitter vinyl? This is glitter iron so on. So I need to know the temps and the temps So this one is. Um, so glitter is 340 for 20 seconds. Wow, even hotter. Most of them get a sticker. Family Stone, I don't know if I've ever seen the Family Stone. What is it? See. When did Family Stone come out? See how it darkens real quick. Yeah, that's the red. See how that red, yeah, it darkens. And then that will go away, like I said. When it cools off. So temp. So I hit temp. It flashes. I'm going to add 5 to 340. Mm -hmm. it turns red. It turns red, which means it's not ready. So um, a question is, new question, should the heat bad be put inside in between front back? Some people think there should be something in between this and this, I think no. is what they mean. You don't need to worry. I don't. I never do. Um, can you use parchment paper to do the last pass? I've heard of some people doing that. I've never done that. I don't see why Just, not. I wouldn't see why not either. Just be very careful it's not wax paper. Yep. How do you organize and store your vinyl? After you take label off how are you going to know if it's HVAT or I have different bins so I have um, uh, bins on the wall and stuff and I each bin is different so one's for iron on and one's for vinyl I don't mix them because there's no unless you write on them there's no way to really keep them separated yeah and Angela said she wouldn't do it it's not made for that so the parchment paper 
I know a lot of people do that and a lot of people say, oh, it's, I use it as a protective sheet. For me, I would spend, because these um, Teflon sheets and the Iron-On Cricut protective sheet are only like six bucks and I would, um, I would do that. Julie says, please read my FRI about your links. FRI? Yeah, I don't know what that means, Julie. Scrooge is a good movie, yes. So Shauna is doing yes, this. Um, so Glitter 340 for 20 seconds. Yeah, this Santa is really cute, isn't it? I love it. See how dark that got? Yes, you can use a pressing pillow. Um, you can make your own pressing pillows. Lori Noonmaker did a great video on how to make your own pressing pillows. So essentially, a pressing pillow comes into play for anything that's not going to lay flat. You can use a pressing pillow to, to get that where the seams are at. Uh, nothing goes in between the shirt back and front. So I never do anything between a shirt, and that's never been an issue for me. I know some people will put like something underneath their shirt. I've never done that. Not saying you can't do it. I just, I've never seen a need to do that because I've never had it attached to the back of the shirt. Unless you're using a really delicate material that it would do that, but I've never seen that. So Sean is going to let this cool. It needs to cool for about two minutes. Um, while he does that, we'll do a final press on our You'll Shoot Your Eye Out shirt. Um, once again, uh, I just do this because this is something I've always done. You don't have to, but I will do this right. I'm using the sheet that came with our... Um, our um, heat, press. heat press. See, I don't even know what it's called anymore because I never use it. But um, and I I just do it real quick. You don't want to put too much heat on it because you can scorch your stuff. So I would go a little bit quicker than Sean just did, just so that way it doesn't ruin the finish. But it's a nice last press. All right, and then we'll remove off where my hose at. Still did warm. you ever do a wash test? You mentioned before that you're going to. I have not yet. I've been so busy with other stuff. But Lori and Noonmaker did an amazing 69. wash press. She did 60, 69 washes. 69 washes. And she has, I think, Cricut and Caesar on there. And she did little dashes every time she took it out of the wash. And um, it did great. So I have, I, unfortunately, I'm not going to lie. I just haven't had time to spend on my thing. But a lot of washes, that's a lot of. That's a lot of energy. Look at how cute that is. So this is glitter. I'll have Sean kind of show you here. Look at that. That's the Cricut glitter. Isn't that fun? This is wonderful stuff. Look at that. So I love the glitter iron on. So fun. Yeah, that stopped doing any justice there. No, I thought it was Oh, Renee, I see what you're saying. Um, oh, no. So, yes, wash inside out. That is a very good thing to point. So, um, almost any company, any uh, people, when you wash something that you've created with heat transfer vinyl, I would always recommend washing them inside out um, and stuff. So, Tana, did you re-ask your question? Because I'm looking and I don't see your question re-asked. I know you said Angela and you have little arrows pointing up, but I didn't actually see the question retyped. So, um, what's the next video you will be doing? Tomorrow we are doing a video on um, a chocotour board. And then um, uh, next week I think we have uh, a uh, reveal video. Uh, these were cut out on a 12 by 12 mat. Um, you didn't need the full 12 by 12. These all, most of these images ended at about 10 inches, and they're 11.5. Tan, I don't know why it's not coming through, Tan. I'm so sorry. I keep looking for your question. It's not showing up for me. Um, so I apologize that I don't see it. I, I I'm not sure where it's not where it's going. I do see the one that says in all caps, but nothing. Um. So, hey, Daniel, how's it going? So, there's all three shirts. Um, so, I know the Jolliest is so funny. Isn't that funny? Um, yeah. In fact, what's funny about this one is my high school colors were 
black, white, and that green. So it's reminding me a lot of my my uh, high school. High school. So all three of these files will be available in the Patreon here right after this video. I will go do it. Um. Yeah. <laughs> so this, I love this movie. Don't get me wrong. I love a Christmas story. The one thing I just wish it wasn't played so much. It kind of has lost a little bit of its a uh, luster for me. Um, but I'm super excited. I don't know if you guys know this, but Fox is doing a live version. I think it's December 17th, maybe. maybe and it is um, super. I'm I'm excited because number one, I'm sure they won't mess up. But live, there's always a chance they can mess up. Uh, but I I just love it, and it'll be like Matthew Broderick's doing the voiceover, and Anna Gastar's in it, and I'm trying to remember all the people in it. Yeah, so I can't wait. It will be awesome to see that different one. So we have all three shirts um, and stuff. So kind of fun, huh? I have to say, uh, I've always been a fan of just doing stuff um, in clips. I can't think of the name, but I do know who you are. Oh. So what, did in clips ask a question? Okay. When will Mystery Box be available? It will be available in December. Um, uh, it is saying your links from yesterday may have threat or viruses. Didn't go any further. So Julie, uh, that's a security setting on your computer. Um, so I use Google shortener. What Google shortener does is it takes a long link and shortens it to a shorter link. And when you do that on certain security settings, if you do that, it tells your computer, this link has been shortened and we can't tell you exactly where it's going. So that's a security setting for your computer. You can go in and change that. Um, but it, it will do that for certain people if you have a very high security alert on your computer. Because essentially when you take uh, on a regular link and it's a longer link like that, um, it tells you exactly where it's going. So normally it would say like cricket and dot com slash, you know, mystery box. When you use Google shortener, it takes that and it gives it a G-O-O, -O, meaning Google shortener link. It takes you from uh, that Google shortener link to the Google's page and then over to that. And I do that because if not, all the links are super long. But if you have a security setting, it will say, hey, we don't know where this link's going and it will give you that alert. So I apologize for that, but it is a security setting you can change to say, please allow for shorter links. Um, Sonia Bond says, watch Lawyer Noonmaker's channel on YouTube. She is amazing um, on all of her stuff. So that's awesome. Hi, Simon. I finally saw you come in. Yes. Uh, if you guys have not seen Simon's channel, go check it out. He is a brilliant designer. Uh, I know he does stuff with Brutus Monroe and some other companies. So um, he has some really great tutorials. Very talented at that age. I wish I was crafting at that age. Um, let's see here. I got my Cricut Maker and my Cricut Bright Pad today. Yay! Yeah. The Maker is amazing. I love the Bright Pad. Use the Bright Pad. If you use markers, use a bright pad. It will. It's amazing on what that bright pad will do for your blending, and it's also a really good thing to use for your metal dies to line it up perfectly to stamp. Um, let's see here. I saw one more question. When will the three-part video on the silhouette cameo cricket? I'm not sure the third part. Oh, um, uh, I think I know what you're talking about. Are you talking about the software comparison? So between Cricut Design Space and Silhouette. Uh, three studio or four, three. Four. I think that should be the third part. I think that's what she's talking. Um, it is coming every time I'm almost done with that video, they change the software and I have to go reshoot it. If you're on a window, can you use regular window cleaner on it? If you use on a window, can you use regular window cleaner on it? Betty, I'm not sure what that question means. Um, because you wouldn't use any of these products on a window. So if you're talking about vinyl or window clean, it depends on what you're using. Um, but I'm not sure on that. Uh, let's see. Next question. Where did you buy the elves with the ladder on your Christmas tree? If you actually just Google, um, Gabby, I thought I responded to a question for you on that already. But if you just Google elf ladder or elf factory, it'll come up. It's called the elf www.theelffactory.com. 
So what mat did I use? Are you talking about when I originally cut it? So when I originally cut this, I used my Cricut Maker. Um, I used the specialty uh, settings. So basically you'll go in and find more materials and look for this specific material before you cut it. And I just used my regular 12 by 12 light mat. So that's the light blue Cricut mat. Um, yeah, so I use the light blue um, Cricut cutting mat. That's my favorite to use. Uh, that's the one I use for pretty much everything. Um, and Sonia, I, uh, I'm a good friend of Lori's, so I definitely recommend her YouTube channel. Um, and I hope you enjoy our videos here too. So, and then Tana, um, I'm sorry I didn't see your question. If you want to ask it again, that would be great. Um, and stuff. So I use parchment paper. I use it in the oven at a much higher temp than I use with the easy press. So that's why I think it's probably just fine if you do use parchment if you wanted to at the end. Uh, so the question from DIY with uh, Danny, I think. Why did Cricut make a whole new machine instead of adding the rotary cutter to expl explore air too? Couple reasons. Number one reason is the pressure. The Cricut Maker has 10 times the pressure which you need for using that rotary blade and additional tools, which brings me to point number two. The Cricut Maker has the adaptive tool system, which basically means they are releasing more tools that can easily go into that. So there's no way you could have added the rotary cutter to the Cricut Explore Air 2. It just would not have worked because of the control functions. The rotary blade has to be able to move on a pinpoint and the Cricut Explorer 2 did not have um, a function to do that. So this has a little gear. The gears plug into the gears in the Cricut Maker. You wouldn't be able to use that in the Cricut Explorer Air 2. So when the Cricut Explorer 2 was designed, it's just a, a drop your tool in type of uh, machine. Um, and with the Maker, this you can actually plug tools into it. So that's why they invented a whole new machine. But the cool thing is, is they are already thinking ahead and saying, well, we, we know we want to add more tools to this. So they have the adaptive tool system. So now they're going to be able to plug a lot more tools directly into that gear system. Not only have better control, but they have 10 times the pressure, which is huge. It equals out to almost eight pounds. Uh, Tiana, I'm, uh, like I said, I'm, I apologize. I can't go back and scroll to see all those comments. So once again, if you just want to re-ask your question in all caps, I'd be happy to answer it. Um, all right. So uh, last question. So once again, you guys are, uh, I'll upload all of these files to my Patreon here in a few minutes. Um, definitely use when you guys are doing, um, doing, uh, uh designs and stuff start thinking of things about uh to use these so i've always used the regular heat transfer vinyl which is kind of boring now that i'm using all this stuff i've always shied away from the glitter and the foil and the holographic i'm telling you what it's amazing uh it really adds a lot to a shirt i love the way it looks um I wish I knew about the maker when I was doing my research. Yeah, you know, I hear that a lot. And I will say it, it can be frustrating when his company updates the machines. I do kind of look at it just like an Apple uh, iPhone or Android iPhone or a lot of stuff. Every year, it seems like companies release their newest model. Um, so we're living kind of in a society of upgrading all the time. So I get that. Um, I, so I understand where you're coming from. But on the same hand, too, I think everyone always has that buyer's remorse. There's Tana Carroll's question. Yay! I have the Air 2 Unbox. Should I keep it or buy the maker as a newbie? Um, it's a struggle. For me, I would say the maker, to, just because the maker is going to have a lot more tools coming out, has a lot more pressure. Um, it is the best machine on the market right now. However, the Cricut Explorer 2 is a great machine. It depends on what you're using it for. If you're using it for simple cuts and most of the time you're going to be cutting paper, iron-on, or vinyl, the, the Explorer 2 is definitely going to be a, a great machine for you. However, if you ever want to incorporate fabric or felts or delicate fabrics, um, soon to be woods, soon to be woods, you would want to go with the Maker because the Cricut Explorer Air 2 is just, you can... You can absolutely cut those things. You just have to go through a lot more additional steps. On the Cricut Maker, it eliminates those steps. Like you don't need to back your fabric to cut it. 
Um, on the Explorer 2, you can cut fabric with it, but you're going to need to back it with something to, to give it a little bit more of a stiffness to cut it. Where on the Maker, you don't. You just put it on the fabric mat and cut it. So for me, I would upgrade to the Maker. However, I cut felt fabrics and those things. Um, I definitely want to cut wood when the, the knife blade comes out. However, for people that are like, I only want to cut paper, vinyl, iron-on, um, the Cricut Explorer 2 is going to be a great option for you. It's a great machine. So I don't want to discount that machine. Um, so, uh, uh, the way I store my vinyl after I open the package, like I said, I have drawers. So I have, uh, bins I put them in and one bin is all for iron on one bin is all for vinyl. I have a bin just for a piece of foil. I have a bin specifically for window clean. So I have different, um, it's kind of like, um, uh, 31 totes, but they actually can go into a little bin system. So here they are. Sean's bringing them out. There you go. There's all my vinyl. So look, it's a bin that looks like this. Vinyl from here to eternity. All right. I love the newest model, but I definitely cannot afford the maker, but it's a much better suited to my needs since I use a lot of fabric projects. Yeah. I And you know what? I, I'm not sure they will do this, but in the past, when they released the Cricut Explorer 2, they released a machine exchange program where you could send in a um, uh, your SKU of an old machine. They give you $50 off to upgrade to the newer machine. They might do that. Um, I'm not saying they weren't. I think this is the first Christmas we've had the maker on the market. So I think that's why we don't see any incentives or big sales on them. They do sales on the bundles. So we do see that a lot. Uh, however... Um, they might be doing a, a sale or something. Um, let's see here. You can use one more. Yep. You can use more than one machine. So yeah, Tiana, I would definitely get the maker. So if you have, if you love fabric and wood, I would absolutely get the maker. It's worth the upgrade. I know it's about a hundred and gosh, I think $25 more, but it, you will not be sorry. It's a beautiful machine. It can store more tools. Um, and it can cut way more, way more options with it. So yeah, I will say that the, so ever since we got the maker, it did update where the, the Cricut Explorer 2 and, and below had smart dials that we would just turn and then, and do that with the maker. There is no smart dial. So they've kind of eliminated that step for the maker. And now you have to go through and, um, it makes you choose an option, but if you hit like custom materials, it's a huge list of materials we can choose from a ton of different options. Um, but because of that, you, you do have to scroll through it and find it, which is, it can't like today. Sean was like, where is, where is this one? And I was like, you have to go all the way down to iron on it's alphabetical. So you have to go all, you keep scrolling through like all these different things and you finally find it. So it's not a big deal. I guess that's a good option to have cause you it just shows you how many materials there are. So um, yeah. And, uh, to Renee's point, there's a lot of people that have chosen not to update to the maker either because of financial reasons or not. I have to say all of the Explorer machine family. So all the way from the one up to the Explorer two, they are great machines. They are machines, um, that no one would be sorry that they got. I think it's just, it's always been, what are you going to use the machine for? What's your budget look like? All of that stuff. So I don't want to say what are, what's happening. I don't know what's happening. I'm sorry, people. So there you go. That is why... You got to give people warning before you start moving the camera. Sorry. Jeez. And why, why are you showing this? Because now you don't even... No one knows why you're showing this. People kept asking, why? Why can't you use something? I mean... You got to announce that. Yes. So remember, we had this tool here, which fits right only into here and nothing else has this except for the maker <laughs> i just read someone's comment that's funny all right guys so there you go there is all three shirts for you um so that's a total of six shirts we made for the holidays that's so exciting if you didn't see the other three shirts, we did those yesterday. So take a peek at those. Um, uh, don't forget uh, that 50% off sale is going, I think, for one more day. So you want to make sure you check out for that sale because this sale is for sure um, one of the best sales for the year that I ever see. So I um, Cricut always has great sales. And I think they did 50%... For Black Friday, that was the last time they did this one, and a lot of people stocked up then. 
but um, this for sure is the best sale you're going to get. So 50% off if you use KK15, it gets you 15% off in free shipping. Keep in mind, if you use KK15, you might not get your uh, stuff before Christmas. That If you need your stuff before Christmas, you can use December ship. That will give you free priority shipping, but you will lose out on the 15%. So it's kind of one of those things. Do you need it before Christmas or not? And do whatever's the best for you. Um, and Dana, nice job. Oh, thanks, Dana. Awesome, guys. So, yeah, they did 50% off at Black Friday. You are correct. So, um... I only see them do it usually Black Friday then, and I think they'll do it one time in the summer. It will be like a summer blitz or something. Um, but uh, for the people that didn't stock up Black Friday, don't let this go. Um, Lisa, what shipping option? So if you get the KK15, it's free like home delivery. It will say like economy shipping. Um, the uh, If you do December ship, that will be free priority shipping. Is there a way to put baseball caps in front? I don't know what that means. Do you know what that means? Baseball caps in front? Hmm. Betty, I'm, I'm not sure what that means. I know, um, I know some people like to do, I don't know if she's talking about an iron on on a baseball cap. Oh, put Maybe. iron on the front of baseball caps. There is a way to do that. You can get an ironing pillow. There is specialty like um, hat uh, that puts an uh, the metal behind it to where you can iron on it. The problem is, is um, like heat presses have specialty material or uh, set up for that. Um, I would probably just use an ironing pad that you could put in there. Something. That would be what you I would just do. just hold it and just go across like this. Yeah, it doesn't take much pressure from the Easy Press to to get a good um, pressure on that. Heat presses are a little bit different, but the Easy Press you should be able to go just along it and put a, a pad behind it and push along the pad. That's what I would do. So, all right, guys, uh, thank you so much. We will see you tomorrow, hopefully, if everything goes right, just for a sit down and chat with us. Oh wait, no, tomorrow is Wednesday. Yes. So tomorrow we'll be doing chat tour. I'm chat sorry, tour. and then Thursday we're doing the sit down and chat with you, and um. We will see you guys then. All right. So have a wonderful evening and uh, go out there and get kind of in the Christmas spirit. It's that time of the year, isn't it, Sean? Mm -hmm. It is. And I don't know where all of this went. There is she is. You got to press it. <laughs> I am pressing it. Oh, I think it's... Is it in the... Um, there? I don't know where it went. Is it... Any of those, uh, I don't know. Are we still on? Yeah. Where's the, go to your YouTube one. Is it still there?